Hello everyone, Burton's back in the realm of Karth. We are continuing our plans for expansion. We're trying to get hold of Ashabad. Things are going very well. I would predict that uh, we need to be taking this portion of land here. We do have some troops heading on over, which is great. About 4,000 of them or so. Um, my concern mainly at the moment is general happiness. Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit weird coming from me, but it's something that we need to be looking into. Because as we grow, our demand size is too big for us. Our vassal opinion is running on the dangerous side. We have quite a few men, in fact, let's put it this way, quite a few people who could quite easily revolt against us. So I'm going to have a look at a couple of things. Now, I know for one that Karkesh is very strong once they're back up to full power. Their leader doesn't like us. We're going to try and appease him. So he desires the Lordship of Quilan. So if you remember that, that is one of our colonies. In fact, let's get that going. That is one of our colonies. And I think that's going to be a quick win. So we're just going to grant him the Lordship of Quilan. And we'll see what he takes to that. Oh my god. So my wife has discovered that we were tampering, but it wasn't us. She doesn't know it's so, us, so that's fine for now. This is getting a bit ridiculous. So go ahead and take that lordship, would you please? Can we not give him it? Grant landed title. Oh, there we go. Now you have it. An excellent look at that. So, one fail swoop, we have turned him more into a friend. That is good. We're going to have to have a look at things a bit more closely. We will have another spot of land to give away very soon. And the remaining army of Ashabad are just sitting on Carl. I don't know what they're doing right this moment. Um, as soon as this land falls, this war score should be pretty much over. We're going to play the smart thing. We are going to uh, get our troops back to friendly territory. And we'll see how we get on from there. Now, I don't want to give away my second colony. My second colony is obviously over here. My cult conspirators sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn. Please, let it be said. Kaboom. Prove the plan. Alright. Let us hope she dies. If she doesn't die, my line will die and my brother will inherit upon my death. Can't have that. So let's have a look at the siege then. So there you have it. It's fairly even to be honest with you. It's still going to take a while for things to go ahead and for us to take the siege of Abaj. Um, right now we've run out of men. My wife has died. Brilliant. Um, we've run out of men. We're sending over our remaining army. We'll see exactly what we can do. In the meantime, uh, I think we've got a wedding to plan. So now that we're unmarried, who is there of who is there to marry? I would like to get an alliance, but I'm not going to. Instead, what we're going to do is just marry someone who will uh, progress us a little bit more. And by progression, all I mean is someone who has the traits that I would desire a son to have. So, you are a twin, stubborn, gregarious, we don't want that. Someone with the attractive trait or the genius trait would be something that I would like. Lustful would also be helpful. You are honest and competent steward. On the plus side, you do want to get married as well. What is going on here? Am I the only genius in calf? There's no pretty people. Skills from being envious. I don't want anyone who's deceitful. What about someone from outside? Let's try this quickly. So we're going to go for female. Let's get that going while we're looking at this. Married, no. Melisandre. I very much doubt she's open for a marriage with us. Um, let's put it down to age. 
We're gonna get ourselves a nice young bride. She's very quick. She's actually very good. She's from Utisha as well. Would she do us the honour? No. Must not marry an infidel. So we're gonna struggle with this now. She's a strategist. I like that. Yeah, rather than have a look at all of this, I think we're going to struggle because of our religion. We're going to go ahead and marry off someone in our own realm. Humble and greedy. This woman's lustful and she's 18. Um, yeah, we're going to go for you. Solaria. So that should do. Our army has arrived. We're just going to merge them together. Um, they should take this a lot faster now, which is always good for us, and it's good for the war. That's fine. So, with any luck, our marriage has gone ahead. Yes. Now, she's arrived at our court. We need to go ahead and, uh, yes, it's everyone's concern. We need some, uh, some money. That'd be nice. 25 gold. Well, thank you very much, Mathos the Rash. Uh, Lordship of Cape of Skulls. I like that. Okay, I'll take that. It's better than nothing. And as soon as this war's over, we should be able to uh, vastly improve our holdings. What are we doing on that? So, so far, so good. Um, meanwhile, there's the three brave men of the priest army of Ashabad trying to uh, retake the city. Don't know what's going on there. They're probably zealous nuts. Now, the Ashabadian army is just sitting there, sitting on Carl, it's not doing anything at all. They've taken everything that they possibly can there, um, and they have delayed the inevitable, I think. Like I've said before, this has been the most interesting war we've been in so far, and it's actually tested us a little bit. Now, my main fear, like I mentioned, was we need to keep our vassals happy. As we expand, it becomes more and more of a chance that um, there'll be revolts. If you look at that, our liege loyalist is 12,000 of them. Yeah, thankfully, the man is one of them. The man who we've recently uh, given some land to. Salar the second, he's quite happy with us, so that's fine. This gentleman, however, we know he's not fine. Um, we could do with getting a lot more people on our side, so maybe we might throw a couple of feasts or something like that. So open council position, it looks like another warlock has died and it's going to go to Lotho. It's time for me to educate a slave? What? No, I have no time. Now in terms of religions, we could do with getting over and start converting these people. We can't do it just yet because we haven't won, but in time we will. The Guild of Soulful Men has been successful these past few years, apparently filling their copies with many contracts. They would like to give us 35 gold, well thank you Sorrowful Men. The war's over. There we go, and just like that, We've gained ourselves Ashabad. Brilliant. Um, let's get our men back home. Let's get them all disbanded. Um, our demand size is too big again. We're going to have to give away some land. I don't want to, but it's something that we're going to have to do. We've fulfilled our ambition, so that should go at any moment. And now we can concentrate on getting ourselves a sum. Um, let's break this army in two. In fact, we'll just split them. There we go. And we're making sure that we're not disbanding them right here. We want to do it in friendly territory. And this is good. I like the fact we've managed to get this. I'm definitely keeping hold of Ashabad. Um, oh, okay. That's uh, something I'll pretend I'm interested in, but I'm not really. So you guys get over there. Get yourself all disbanded. Um, we can do with sending over our warlock now to try and do a little bit of a conversion. We'll see how well that goes down. You will disband. And we'll do exactly the same with you guys, get you over there as well. 
Um, after this, we're going to do a little bit of an internal rearrangement. Just in regards to who's happy, who's not, we're going to see what we can do to facilitate our rule. After many months studying the campaigns of Valerian Freeholds, I've acquired many fascinating insights and gained new wisdom in military matters. I realise that the art of war might well be worth studying. I shall be a master of strategy. Yes, I will take that. So now our armies have arrived in our newly acquired land, we'll go ahead and just stop things for the moment. Right, so time to have a look at our internal. Now whenever I'm doing this, I'm always having a look at strength. I want to make sure that the strongest people are the happiest. As you can see, Methos is not. He has got a lot of men. So what does he desire? Let's see if we can make it happen. So he wants the Lordship of Macrosh. I don't want to give you the Lordship of Macrosh. It has cost me a fortune. So we can't do that. We can send him a gift. What would the gift do? Increase him by 27. He won't end his plot. The plot we're not going to get into. So for now, there's nothing we can do with that man. Next up, we have Lady Yan of Barashar. Now, unsurprisingly, she's not overly keen on me either. She's easy though. She is a very quick win, considering the fact that it's medium realm authority, attraction to cruel. Yeah, so we're getting some things there. I'm happy to send her a gift. It's a lot of money, I know this, but I'd rather send her a gift than give her an honorary title. She's young enough as well, so it's not wasted money. I don't think she'd die anytime soon, unless something happens. So let's send her that gift. And that's improved the opinion by a little bit for us. So for now, she should be on side if anything does happen. Right, okay, so that's that one dealt with for now. We have to keep monitoring it. Our third strongest is, uh, well, we know who this man is. Masayaha of Ashabad. Masayaha isn't very keen on us at all. I would very much like to do something about getting rid of him. But we're going to keep him there. He has gonorrhea. Maybe he'll die and then we can put someone else in this place. And finally, we're going to have a look at the last one. We've already taken care of Salo. We'll have a look at Alo now. Alo himself is only small. Um, that's going to go away in time, raise levies, that will disappear because we've been at war for a long time. So I think we're in a, we're in a good place. As soon as we're able to get these ships disbanded, um, I think we'll uh, make a start uh, maybe having a feast or something. There we go. So we've gained Ashabad, thankfully. Our demand size has increased as well because our stewardship bonus. Brilliant. I'm happy with that. We can now hold four pieces of land. So that's what we're up to right this moment. That's what we've done. And uh, let's see if we can go ahead and um, hold a feast, shall we? 50 gold it will cost. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, my vassal should be there. It's been a while since we've been able to all sit round the table and enjoy some lovely, lovely food. Caffeine beer at this time of year is just beautiful. Never mind the uh, the ducks. I love ducks. That's just that's just what I'm like. I'm I'm a duck man. Mandelo duck man. So uh, enough talking about silly foods. Um, where to go now? So Ashabad seems a likely target. The remaining lands. Um, we are at a truce with them right now, so we're not going to be doing anything. The wandering minstrel entered the castle, singing and did not stop until he found me. With a flourishing bow and one long sad tone from his lute, he finished his song and asked for patronage. Yeah, we'll give you that. Um, so I'm going to decide what sort of food to get. Um, I'm going to spend lavishly. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I don't have time. I do not have the time. Now most of the preparations for the feast are made, now I've got to send out the invitations. So not everyone's going to come to this. So first off, 
Walton of the 13, unsurprisingly, doesn't want to come. That's okay. So two. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. That is, um, that's okay. I'm surprised. Speaking of surprises, how is um, my Justy Car getting on? Tagarara, enough. Um, Narf was over here, wasn't it? It's been that long since I've seen her, I've forgotten where I sent her. There she is. She's in there. So Narf is taking a good long while. This is ideally going to be a launching point for us into the west. That's the whole idea anyway. It opens up a lot of options in regards to all these lands here and the Basilisk Isles. Meanwhile, we'll continue with our launching point into the east, which is going to be Ashabad. And that's going to take us into the realm of UT. Now, UT or Yutai, depending on where you were brought up, is... Wow. They are a land that we are not going to touch. That is insane. We need to keep UT on side. Remember that, people. Keep them on side. Who is the... He's the God Emperor Han. Now we share a border, we need to monitor this man. This is going to be, um, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Um, so we have another slave that has been born into us yet again. That will be more money. Um, we need to start selling off some of these slaves now. We're getting far too many in our court. So uh, let's have a quick look at our court itself. I find with slaves it's always better to do it this way so you can see them straight away. We're going to do it by age. We're going to get rid of the oldest first. So we've got Maya, who is a courtier. So we could try and breed her. She's 47 years old, so we're not going to do that. Let's try and sell her first. Time to do some business. Now, because of her age, we might not be able to get much for her, but let's see. Does anyone want to buy her? 15 golds. We'll take that. She's 47 years old. She isn't going to breed anymore. Welcome to my feast. Everyone's arrived. That is great. Um, let's get rid of a few more slaves. A game master? I like that. So 26 years old. Is she currently breeding? She's not. Let's go ahead and get her breeding. So who's going to breed? Is it going to be Gafur, Quayad, or Tal? It's going to be Gafur. Yes, splendid, you will do it. Fantastic. We need to make sure that they're still keeping themselves going. You will breed as well. And we'll do you with uh, Quayad. Splendid, that's another one. Off and running. And are you old enough now? No, not yet. Not yet. But soon. So that's okay, the rest of our sleeves are all very young. So onwards to the feast. Now I'm, I'm hoping this will improve a lot of opinions. Um, it's something that we've needed to do for a while. I've started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found them most interesting. Hours have flown by, wine bottles were emptied, other guests excused themselves and went to bed but we kept talking. That's a sorrowful man. Yes, we have become close friends with Sorrowful Man Gefril. I would take that. Oh, brilliant. You've spoken up about how well it is. That is brilliant. I like this. So far, the feast is going well. Um, now, what do we actually have any options on? Probably slave raids. Yeah, so we could do a slave raid on Selkar if we wanted to. That's great, so that's improved everything massively. A lot of slave raids, yeah. I don't think we're going to be doing a slave raid for a while. It leaves us with a few interesting uh, chances, but I think for the moment we need to sort of recoup a little bit. We need to plan and we need to wait for our claim on NAF to come to fruition. In regards to NAF itself, I would like to get slightly better just the car. She's not married though. Hmm. 
Is there a female just the car we can get who would be better? Let's search our vassals. Uh, no, she's the best. Let's search the realm. So out of everyone in the world, she is one of the best. Oh, she's a just the car there. She's also slave and attractive. We couldn't invite her. Who owns this woman? Krasnys. Hmm. There's nothing we're going to be able to do with that. She's a former slave. If you come to our court? What if we arrange a marriage with someone? Maybe Mathos? We mustn't marry an infidel. Once again that old problem arises. So that's where we're going to leave things on this episode. The Empire of, Carth of Carthine is growing. We've taken a very strong piece of land, but at the same time we now border the mighty Empire of Utah. Continue to support the expansion. You guys know what to do. Raise those thumbs. Cheers, I